guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a haul video for you it's gonna be a drugstore haul so some products that i picked up i've been hauling products for a while now so i just want to go ahead and get started get into it first off we're gonna start with the wet n wild boost volume amplify volume it's a pink mascara i was on the market for a new mascara i think this will be a good one to try it was fairly affordable I want to do drugstore makeup videos and things like that for you guys, so that's why I picked this up. Still with Wet n Wild, I picked up their Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. It is in the color dark brown, so I'm looking for a. I was looking for a drugstore brow pencil. I don't think I have any drugstore brow products actually. Just continuing on, I picked up the Pixie by Petra Lower Lash Mascara. This one I picked up because. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. really like the Clinique one to get right in there and get those lower lashes. I ran out of that one and I found out that this one was the same price. So it's not like you're saving any money, but the one's a little bit bigger on this one. So I wanted to give it a try. Back to Wet n Wild, I did pick up two eyeshadow palettes from them. The first one is Rosé in the Air. And it looks like this. It's just a neutral um, eyeshadow palette. It's got a little bit of pop of purples and browns it's pretty neutral with some transition shades and things like that it kind of reminds me of the anastasia modern renaissance palette if you've ever um, seen that one i mean i'm sure you have i have that one but i wanted to pick up something more affordable and then there's also the not a basic peach this one is um fairly neutral it does have that pop of blue in there and the rest of the colors are more peachy colors. I don't know how the blue falls into the peach part, but I like the palette, so I want to try it out and see how the colors work out for me. These were actually picked up at Ulta, so not the drugstore, but they are drugstore brands, and they were actually on sale for $2.99. Not sure if they still have them anymore, but they were in those bins. So um, the products that I picked up was the Color Tattoo from Maybelline. I picked up three of them. And the colors that I picked up were sharp purple, which is a purple, kind of iridescent purple with some flakes of green in there. So you just apply it on your lid and you're good to go. So I wanted to try this out as a color on its own and also as a base if I'm doing a smoky eye um, with darker colors. I think this would be a great product to use. The next color I picked up is Bold Sapphire, which is more of that deep blue. And it also has purple and green and gold flakes in it. So this is a really pretty color. And last, I picked up Fool's Gold, which is like this deep mossy green with gold flecks. It looks like gold and some lighter green flecks in there as well. I thought this color was really, really pretty. I'm really into olive green, so definitely had to pick that up and they had those on sale for $2.99 each i also picked up nyx lid lingerie matte eye tint and this one is in the color iconic it's just a taupey nudish color um, i want to use this as a base kind of like a primer and also you can use this on days where you're doing a simple no makeup makeup look you can just cover the lids with this add a transition color like a dark brown and keep it moving so I'm excited to try those out. I picked up some lip products. I only have three. The first thing I picked up was from Milani and it's their Matte Darling number 74. I don't have anything this color in my collection. I really think it's a pretty beautiful pink color and it's gonna pair really well with the brown lip liner. I've just been really back into pink lips because for the longest I had ginger hair color and that and pink lips just clashed to me so i really didn't buy any pink lipsticks for like that period of time where i was experimenting with all these different colors in my hair and now that i'm back to having darker colored hair i think this looks really pretty it just adds that pop next i picked up the revlon super lustrous lip gloss and it's in the color sky pink number 207 again i don't think it's picking it up very well but it's a bright pink color and I'm really excited about this gloss again I want to pair it with the brown lip liner and just wear it as a nice nude kind of pinky look last lipstick that I picked up was 905 D from wet n wild 
and it is the color smoking hot pink and it looks like this now as you can see when i opened it i hate the packaging of these lipsticks because when you open it the lipstick kind of scrapes on the side but i do like this color and it was 88 cents so i had to pick this up moving on to some face products that i picked up uh, the first thing is a foundation from L'Oreal. This is the infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation with SPF 25. Looks like this. I picked up the color golden deep or deep golden. I'm sorry. I picked up the color deep golden. This right here I really wanted to try because I've seen everybody raving and ranting about it. It has a pump which made me really happy. I bought the same color in the true match formula but i really hate having to pour that foundation out sometimes it just gets kind of messy to me so i wanted to try this formula especially since it has the fp spf in there as well i also picked up this makeup mist by elf wanted to try this out again like i said i don't have this in a drugstore formula i remember trying it years ago and liking it so i picked it up just so i could try it out for my drugstore makeup look and then i also picked up the instant age rewind erase dark circle um, concealer from maybelline and i picked it up in the color hazelnut hazelnut is um gonna give me that natural concealed look i didn't want to go with tan i thought it was a little bit too light but we'll see how it goes i haven't tried it out yet next from wet n wild i picked up one of their color icon blushes in the color blazing berry it's like a orange berry like if orange and berry had a baby this would be the color i picked up the soft focus finish powder from black radiance in the color milk chocolate it's a very big pan it's kind of flat uh, so i don't know how deep the pan is but i wanted to pick this up i am running really really low on my l'oreal infallible face powder which is my holy grail powder but i wanted to pick something else just to try it out and i've heard really great things about this one i also picked up the total face sponge from elf you can use this one wet or dry i always use my sponges wet and this is what it looks like next i picked up the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the color 30 medium deep and that's what the packaging looks like um on here it's gonna probably show it a little bit light but I just picked this up to set under the eyes I wanted the drugstore loose powder that I could use to set my concealer under the eye and I brought this color because like I said I have the Maybelline age rewind which is gonna be a little bit of an everyday concealer not a super brightening one paired with this one I think it'll give me a great effect and the last face product that I picked up is a primer it's the wet n wild photo focus face primer and it looks like this it is the matte formula because i do have combo to oily skin so i like to pick up matte primers to help my makeup last longer throughout the day and the last product i picked up was the milani quick dry top coat i've been getting back into doing my own nails again i just enjoy that process i think it's soothing it's part of my self-care routine and i really enjoy doing my nails i like painting them different colors but i don't like waiting for them to dry i've heard really great things about this nail treatment um slash top coat and that it dries really fast so i'm gonna put it to the test and see how accurate that is all right guys so that's pretty much everything that i've picked up over the past couple of months i really have been hauling these things and putting them in a little bag to the side i haven't touched them because i was using other products but i definitely want to use them more I want to do some makeup videos for you guys definitely do a drugstore makeup look that's going to be the one that i'm working on i'm still learning how to use my camera and edit and all that good stuff so i hope you enjoy the content that i'm bringing to you if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down below i definitely want to interact with you guys more and definitely let me know what you want to see upcoming next i am going to throw some hair things in there as well um, and if you're wondering about my hair, I did a wash and go. I'm going to list everything down in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And like I said, comment, subscribe, like, and I will see you in the next one. I love you to the moon and back. See you next time.